The Untouchables is about this old man in a wheelchair who can't move his body, so he hires this black guy to become his caretaker. It was much easier reading the plot this way rather than reading it from IMDb because there were so many wars I couldn't understand, so uh, deal with it. Back in college when The Untouchables was really, really new for us Norwegians out there because I think this movie came out in 2012, the end of 2012 era for us. And technically the movie came out in 2011. So, but but you know Norway, we actually get movies really, really late. It doesn't matter where it's from. When it comes to France, United States, Asia, anywhere around the world, Norway is like one of the last countries to ever receive movies. That's at least what I feel, and that's kind of like what happened now. However, when the movie came out, a lot of people gave me so much hype about it. They said it was like one of the best movies they've seen in years, or, you know, one of their favorite movies of the year of, you know, 2012, I guess you could say, or 2011, technically. So I was really unsure what to think about this, because usually I don't go too fast into new movies that just come out all of a sudden that we never really heard about before. Intouchables was kind of like a random French movie that just appeared all of a sudden, but for some reason, when I was going to watch the trailer, I felt like I've seen the trailer before. I was like, huh, this looks extremely familiar. And people have seen this movie, and they see it, it's really great. I went to IMDb, 8.5 on IMDb, and I'm like, wow, people actually like this movie, it's actually pretty good, wow. I gotta watch it. It took me a long time for me to watch it, but because a subscriber requested this movie for me, <laughs> you know who you are, I saw the movie now finally, and I thought it was amazing. But at the same time, I wasn't shocked that it was going to be amazing. I mean, you got your entire college recommending the movie for you, even the teachers recommending the movie for you, you also have IMDb definitely recommending the movie for you, and one of your favorite YouTube reviewers out there to review the movie for you, and they actually recommend the movie themselves. <laughs> I'm your favorite, and I... Come on. I'm your favorite. Come on, just just tell me in the comments. I'm, I'm your favorite. Yeah, right. yeah, okay. No? Okay, fine. Well, anywho, I actually like the movie, but I'm gonna go more into the acting, because I think the acting was really the best part of the movie. Now, when it comes to the story of the movie, I felt like the story is... It's not technically been done before, but I feel like it's something that's not really that fresh of a new era for us in the movie cinema history, you know? It's not... Well, it's not really the most original plot of all time. However, I think the movie is based on a true event, or inspired by a true event, I may say. Correct me if I'm wrong, leave it in the comments down below. Maybe you French people out there should know about the story. You guys know about the story more than I do. I don't know anything about it. I just know about the movie. However, I will say the chemistry between the two main characters. Now, you know who the two main characters are. It's the old guy and the black guy. I'm not gonna mention their names because it's French names and I cannot pronounce them wrong. I don't wanna take any risks here. Their chemistry is probably one of the best chemistries I've seen of the 2011 era. I, I, it's, it's really great. Now, I'm going to make a top 10 favorite list of 2010, 2011, 2012, 13, 14, you know, yada, yada, yada. And when I get to 2011, The Untouchables may be on that list. I mean, just because of the acting itself. Because I felt like the acting is something I kind of not seen in the movie before. Hence, I did not cry of the movie. Now, this is not really the most saddest movie you see out there, because when the movie ended, I actually started smiling. I'm not gonna say how the movie ends or anything, but I actually thought that at the end of the movie, I would you know, shed tears and think that this is one of the saddest movies I've seen, and at the same time, one of my favorites. But I will say that it's probably one of my favorites of 2011, but not the saddest movie. It's one of the happiest movies. Now, it's not always happy and stuff. You know, there are some sad moments and serious moments sometimes. And there are also some really funny moments and some really happy moments. And it makes you feel warm inside. And that's what I like about this film. It doesn't always have to make you force a tear out of your eye. This is actually just trying to be as casual as possible. Also, when the old man is actually telling some stories about his life and when the black guy is telling some stories about his life, you know, that's how they connect, you know, it's like, it's no spoilers. People are just telling, you know, their stories and stuff. I'm not going to say their stories really because that could be spoiler. However, I will say that when they were mentioning the story, especially from the old guy, I felt like I was sitting on the table with those two, like it was like three people in the movie, like including me. I was like sitting there listening to him and I looked at his impression of eyes. 
his eyes. It just told everything. It's like a not a happy story. It's like a really sad story, and you should feel sad. Now, you, you don't have to feel sad, but uh, I mean, if you don't feel sad for that, you don't have a heart. I'm sorry, but you don't have a heart. And luckily I do, so I actually felt something and now I didn't cry because, you know, it's like you hear from a random person you don't know about a sad story. You don't cry over it, but you feel sorry for the guy. That's like a natural habit, and that's exactly what I felt. It felt natural for me to be into the movie that way. Hopefully you guys know what I mean. Now, I will admit this. The beginning of the movie was kind of a little bit confusing, but at the same time I was thinking, uh, I don't quite understand why this is happening, but it's still okay because, you know, maybe the, later in the movie we'll get a better explanation, and we did, because the beginning of the movie, the scene you will see uh, with them driving in the car will be the uh, main time era of the movie, and then the rest of the movie will be just flashbacks. Either that, or the beginning of the movie will be a fast-forward flash, if that's what you call it, and then the middle of the movie like most of the movie will be like the the flashbacks or, or I don't know it's really really confusing but you'll understand when you see the movie and speaking of seeing the movie you should go watch this movie I'm definitely recommending it for you guys 8 out of 10 not a problem at all 8 out of 10 definitely go check out the movie I'm with the people voting for 8 in this one I would say that I loved it but not enough for my very, very, very favorite out there. I don't know. It, it's kind of what the plot had. Not because, you know, I, I know it's based on true story and people will say that, it, of course it's original. It's based on true story or it's inspired by true story. That may be. But I felt like I've kind of seen this before, but at the same time not. You know, it's not enough for me to vote it as a 10 out of 10 or a 9 out of 10 if the acting was the one that's most outstanding of all of it and the plot is just a minor of it. Hopefully you guys understand what I mean. I try not to confuse you guys but that's kind of like my explanation for it all. So anyways, go check out the movie. I definitely recommend it. If you have any movies you want me to review, leave them in the comments down below and I'll maybe go check them out. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and take care.